What fact about reality terrifies you or gives you that dreadful feeling in the pit of your stomach? That every single person you know you will see for the very last time at some point. You will likely have no idea when this point comes. And for many of the people you still consider good friends, this may have already passed. This is hard to stomach. There are so many people in my life, my family, my so, my friends, that I always assume I'll be able to see again, but I'll never know if that's true or not. Maybe I'll see them a thousand times, maybe ten, maybe once and maybe never again. For some people in my life, I can't cope with that idea. That in 10-20 years, every friend I have will probably be replaced by completely different people. The people in charge, those making life or death decisions on a day to day basis, are winging it, just like the rest of us. True terror is to wake up one morning and discover that your high school class is running the country. Kurt Vonnegut, Jr. It always kinda freaked me out how narrow our visual spectrum is. The naked eye is blind to most most of the electromagnetic spectrum. There could be any number of scary thing all around us and we never know. I'm constantly surprised that people don't seem to realize this. It's probably the single most important thing they could imagine. That we don't see most of what is actually around us. I have a huge family. Eventually I will have to cope with them all dying. One by one. And that when I pass my family will have to cope with me dying. You might die first. That this is all real. And that my actions have consequences. Not only for me. But for others. Don't be silly, other people don't exist. The only things that have ever existed is in your mind. Death, I know some people already mentioned it, but thinking about the actual moment of my death freaks me out and tingles my spine. The fact that I'll eventually stop breathing and possibly feel it coming. That true this is it moment when I realize I won't get to be alive anymore. I hope that moment isn't filled with regret. That I could die any second from any freak accident and never see it coming. That I need to move around and fix things for myself. No one else gives a crap. The flip side being, when you do stuff, it's very satisfying. Even if no one else cares. The first radio waves that were transmitted from Earth at a powerful enough strength to be possibly be heard from nearby star systems were the 1936 Berlin Olympics, headed by Adolf Hitler. So far they have only spread 76 light years distance. The Milky Way is 100k 120k light years in diameter. We are approximately 27k light years away from galactic center. The light from the sun that shone in the sky the day that Jesus was crucified hasn't even reached the center of the galaxy. If a person were to stand on a planet in the Polaris, the North Star, system and be able to look at the Earth through a telescope, America hasn't been founded yet. And Mary, Queen of Scots has just been executed. Sir Francis Drake is currently circling the world. At the same point last galactic year, which is how long it takes our solar system to orbit the Milky Way, neither Pterodactyls, Triceratops, nor Tyrannosaurus Rexes had evolved yet. Everything. Frick anxiety. A lot of people are commenting about death, and their fears of losing their family. My family is already long gone. So what I truly fear, is that when I die, no one will know of it and no one would be there for me in my last moments. I do not want to die alone. When I die I'll be dying. I don't care who's there to watch. What terrifies me is the prospect of being alone all the time but for that, I don't want to die without having ever actually lived. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clark. I hate thinking of people as people not just things like me. It confuses the heck out of me that every person looks through their own eyes and they think too. Haha <laughs> it sounds stupid but I can't imagine people seeing and thinking like I do. It baffles me so much that I can't even explain what I mean. I have shitload of homework for tomorrow. I have a shitload of homework for today. Chances are my parents die before me. As a parent, the likelihood that I will die before my child is so much more bearable than the thought that he might die before me. My elderly mom does not have much time left, and the grace with which she faces it makes me so proud of her. Your parents will always live on in your life. May they live a long, long time, and be healthy as well. The unfathomable size of space and the unknown. 
looking at space in an unlit area, simply amazing and makes you wonder. That I, and everyone I know, will one day not exist on earth. In a little more than 100 years the earth will be inhabited by an entirely new set of people. This isn't a fact, but it really weirds me out, whenever I try to think of nothing existing, not just my own lack of existence, but to have everything not exist, there wouldn't be emptiness, just nothing, with no one to care, it's strangely depressing, perhaps it is strange because I'm applying the man-made idea of nothingness to something that it is simply incompatible with. This terrifies me, there would be no consciousness, there would be nothing, gazing at nothing, just being nothing, it's really difficult to conceptualize, nothing would have ever lived, ever died, nothing would ever happen or ever even exist, the whole universe would be just empty space, nothingness. Often when I am on public transport or in large crowds, I suddenly realize that all of the people around me have just as much going on in their life as me and they are all thinking about things. Like, there is just so much consciousness going on all the time that I am completely unaware of, and this fact makes it so much easier not to care about those people, which is terrifying. Every single second the collective consciousness of the human race experience about 150 years. That practically nobody in this world actually knows what they are doing. When you reach the age that you realize adults are nothing more than bigger children who are equally as selfish, scared, and ill-advised as you were, but now have control over larger responsibilities, this always scares the crap out of me, comma. Every second I spend on Reddit is one less second I have to live, but I'm not getting off Reddit. That someday, I will crap my pants, and I won't be able to clean it up myself. The reality about time, will it ever stop? I have always wondered that. Herpes is for life. Frick. That my boyfriend and I are either going to break up or be together forever, not sure which one is scarier. Look at it this way, before either of those things happens, one of you could die, there, all better. Living a good life is the way you probably will be remembered the least. The fact that I don't know what kind of future my future children are gonna have to live through. I'm a nurse. I constantly see sick kids in the hospital. One day I may have kids. They could end up sick or dying in this same hospital. They may get cancer. That scares me almost as much as my own death. I may very well be one of the people I desperately wish euthanasia was legal for. If they wanted it, not for me to decide, I could slowly die one day, frick. As a fellow nurse, I too wish euthanasia was legal for competent patients to ask for. If more people saw how people live out their last weeks or months in the hospital, euthanasia would be legal. That our qualifications, awards, ranks, social statuses, etc are only as good as people make it out to be. It took millions of years for oil to become oil and we're burning through that crap in a cosmic instant without any real thought. That everything I do, say or experience, anything that happens in my life, will ultimately have no impact on anything whatsoever. The idea that my very existence, in the grand scheme of things, means less than the presence of a grain of sands at a beach. I find that a little comforting. It means I can just meander about in my life and enjoy my little comforts without worrying about wasting time. The concept of infinity kind of freaks me out. Space just goes on, and on, and on, and on. That there are so many beautiful places on earth and there's no way I'd be able to visit every one in my lifetime, unless I win the lottery, that, and having to deal with the death of my parents and my beloved cats. That one day my motto don't worry, it'll be alright, somehow, just isn't applicable one day, that day, life will suck. That I may never be able to grow an awesome beard, comma. It doesn't matter if you have a beard on the outside, as long as you got the beard on the inside, action Hank. We won't solve the issues with long distance space travel for organic life in my lifetime, it's very possible that we may never solve all of the issues particularly when it comes to dealing with the effects of low gravity, muscle deterioration, that weird thing with the eyes, heck, just the idea of faster than light, which means that this third drug is likely all we've got, thus, it's more likely that the future will end up into Judge Dredd than Star Trek.
we may never learn if we are alone in the cosmic void. One day, my conscious will not exist, and it will stay that way forever. There will be no change to it at all, ever. On the lighter side, my molecules will continue to exist. Theoretically they could become part of some soil, which in turn would help nurture a tree. Therefore, I could become a tree, and I think that is pretty dang awesome. You need to watch the fountain, you'll love it. That I'm alive, I think I'm depressed. Hey man, if you are depressed, I feel for you. I am not going to tell you to think optimistically in everything, just think about talking to someone who loves you. I am just a stranger, but I wish you good luck and good life. I'll probably be dead before we figure out immortality. That we reduce people to statistics, but the only one that's accurate is 100% of people die, and that because we can't visualize stats or numbers or know everyone who dies, we lose perspective on things like the holocaust. As they say, one death is devastating, 10 deaths is a tragedy, 100 deaths is just a number. Similarly the fact that for the average person, after two generations dying, no one will remember you. That our current existence is environmentally unsustainable combined with the fact that humanity does not seem to grasp what the inevitable consequence of unsustainable really is. I get freaked out when I think that one day, I will be kept alive against my will, wearing diapers and laying in a bed listening to the whims of those around me as they decide my fate. Forget death. Chances are at some point someone you love and hold dear will make a conscious decision to cut you out of their lives. They will decide that you are no longer worth the time or effort and just leave never to be seen or heard from again. And you will know in your heart of hearts that you could have done something about it, but didn't. That murderers, thieves, diddlers, assassins, cults, cannibals, ventriloquists, and suicide bombers all exist and wish to cause harm to the people around them. Ventriloquists are truly menaces to society. That I can only do so much. I can do everything in my power but there are always things out of your control. Crap happens. Guess I just gotta enjoy the ride as much as I can. Enjoy yourself, it's later than you think. Reminds me of, of all things, the Lion King theme. More to see, than can ever be seen. More to do than can ever be done. There is no way we can possibly see everything there is to see on our planet. No human will, assuming they don't create an immortality pill, ever do this. There's actually almost a definable upper limit to the human experience. You have been visited by the IT lizard. Upvote or experience bad internet for a month. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.